but we have this set. We're starting out on Miami Dome, and we have Eero and Tax Evasion now. Okay, we're seeing some different character setups, a little bit more variety coming out from this blue team. Miami Dome, best music in the game. I think I say that like every single time. It's the okay. best theme in the game. Actually, no, I lied. Uh, theme, uh, I don't know. Come on. You got to give me something more. You got to give me something to go off of. Just like you got to give Thought Out something to get back to the stage with before he's taken out of the yeah, game. Yeah, but that scythe is, uh, is dancing on him. You know what? There was like six different options right there. <laughs> and that gravity cancel of six inch was not oh, the option. Oh, 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 oh. Jerry K <sighs> grabbing two 45 seconds into the game. He's saying, Zip, don't worry that you can't think of that one. We're going to move on past that because I'm going to grab this double KO because <laughs> last time we applied pressure, now I'm relieving the pressure. That's the sequel. That We're about oh to build a franchise. Goodness. We are going to build the franchise here, ladies and gentlemen. With the Zip Master Flex Sparky 878 Cinematic Universe, I'm not even going to break <laughs> down the acronym for that because there's too many letters. I already forgot half of them. Cinematic Universe. ZMFS 878CU. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Get ready for that. You're going to see the roadmap of all of those movies that we're going to be releasing inspired by some of your favorite Brawlhalla games here at the Southeast Asia Autumn Championship 2v2 edition as Eero falls. Yo! And so does Tax Evasion. Uh-oh, thought odd. He's a secret undercover IRS agent. Done. Sent to the blast zone. Thought odd don't be playing no games. The conversions are there. The pressure's there. When the gauntlets are in hand, thought odd is dangerous. Look at this, and I like the look. You saw, saw how I thought I was playing like that middle ground. Like, uh, which one of you am I going for? Yeah. I'm not going to allow you to get back on the stage for free, but I also keep my eye on you, Mordex. Now, nice. I don't know. Side signature lands again. I don't know again. how many. Oh, thought on. He's grabbing it yet again. Another one taking Eero out of the game. I just realized I mentioned the IRS. I don't know how many people are watching from Southeast Asia and Australia or other countries <laughs> that aren't in America. The IRS is the Internal Revenue Service that is responsible for uh, collecting taxes in the United <laughs> States of America. That is absolutely hilarious <laughs> that you noticed you needed to say that because I would have never even thought about it again. Oh, that's so good. And uh, But you know what's better? The gameplay of these two together on a yes, team. Sir. This is synergy yes, at its finest. They are looking so good. And they should be feeling confident because they just got the 3-0 against Serenity and GTG. They already took game one here against Eero and Tax Evasion. We are seeing the Dalsim come out. We are seeing the Chun-Li come out. We're seeing the full Street Fighter team from Eero and Tax Evasion coming out on this one. You know what would be even better? is if Tax Evasion was using Volkov. Because then we got Tax Evasion. Then we got... Then we got uh, Vampire. You okay. know where I'm going with this. I, I, tr I truly don't. We got Wesley Snipes. But Snipes. I can't wait to find out. We got Wesley Snipes. We got Blade. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wish I knew where you were going on that one, but I'm glad you told me. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off on the side of the stage, tax evasion, trying to stay alive. Good stuff. Thought I'd able to, not able to get the, the capitalization on that KO. But, man, tax evasion is actually getting kind of pieced. Wow, I say that as yep. a ground pound is landed. That ground pound was and huge. And Cherry K is going to lose the first stock of the match. That ground pound was huge from tax evasion. Oh, thought I'd split. We're seeing, we're seeing Tax going kind of back and forth, whether he wants to commit to the 2v1 or go put pressure onto Thought Ot. Let's see, Thought Out over on the left side. A lot of gauntlets in this game. Jerry K is the only one with not gauntlets in his hands. Yeah, oh, there's a lot. Of, I, I just realized there's a lot of gauntlets on this uh, on this board right now. But Jerry K got the spear in hand. Very, very powerful weapon in my eyes. But I do think, you know, well, he's got the end light. If, if, uh, I was going to say if the gauntlets get on top of him with that spear in his hand, Ooh. Uh, he's not going to really have a get off me tool. But that, that, uh, that nair is really good. Nice little clean pick up there. Taking out Eero Taxi Vision, the only one on first stock. And now that is going to change. Jerry K, we were talking about his survivability. We were talking about his defense before. That was a nice little 2v1 combo there for just a moment. His Taxi Vision was spawning back in. And that actually really just somewhat nullifies the point I was about to make of Jerry K. He's taking a lot of damage this game. But all of a sudden, they put that damage out onto Eero. So he's going in pace with Eero. 
And JK is actually doing pretty well, too, because, like, wasn't hurt too bad on that first stock, but just ended up getting caught by an opportune moment from uh, Tax Evasion. Tax Evasion landed that ground pound, right? So it's not like JK is getting pieced up. It was just a good robbery by Tax Evasion. Nice. Two people dropping the stock right there. It's three to three over on the side. Oh, oh man. You know he wanted it. There. Oh, smart, smart play. Being ready to help your teammate out is a good look. Nice. The recovery still not enough. Thought on living on. That shows that if Tax Evasion went for the recovery there on the left side instead of the side air, because he was a little bit too low to pick up the side air, the recovery wouldn't have led to the knockout. It wouldn't have been the knockout tool. So now that makes that side air look a little bit better, definitely a lot better in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Man, you see Dot getting taken out, put on the final stocks. Tax Evasion, that side air was so close, taking out Jerry K. They are haunting Jerry K. Definitely, and rightfully so. You get that out of there, and then you have a chance, because you're about to lose your teammate Euro, right? You do not want to get put into a situation where Jerry K's kind healthy i mean still sitting on red but in a position where you're gonna have to deal with two players if your teammate euro gets taken out tax evasion without a weapon that's gonna limit him a little bit on his ability to follow up his ability to control space now he grabs those gauntlets again three oh. sets of gauntlets the neutral sig coming out but it was on thought on player who's not hardly damaged whatsoever tax evasion gonna be taken out we are at an almost dead even game Eero will not go. Eero's been thrown to the top of the stage like four times so far and will just will not go over the top. But also not really landing anything. Cannot get rolling. It can't help tax evasion really. Eero's the most hurt person, but the oh, signature big. from tax evasion. That was big. Was that in orange? <gasps> I think that KO might have happened in orange. And we're now at the 1v1 tax evasion with a huge lead. Looking at Jerry K, who is very much in the red tax evasion. Believes still in the yellow. Now he's in the orange. It's the gauntlets versus the spear. The neutral air, that's that aerial get off me tool. Able to find it. Tax not able to find his way back in, man. He's now in the red. Yeah, that Nair. I'm telling you, that Nair is like, what do I do? And, and I like how JK's playing this perfect. Not going too far over the top so the recovery won't hit. Not standing too far in front so the side light won't hit. But that was still good capitalization. Understanding how much damage was on the board. Not overextending. Tax evasion taking the game. Oh, he text did 654 damage, too. So Mans was swinging that whole game, doing incredible work for his team. P.O.P. Hold it down. Had to do it. That one's going over my head. Oh, my gosh. You don't know that? That's a classic nope. meme. That one's going over my head. Oh, no. I'm legally blind. Come on. You don't know that? That one's going over my head. No, help. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. So, you know what? Let me stop with the references. Let's go. Let's go to the <laughs> No, the keep them going. Keep them going. <laughs> That's the only way I'll get one. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. You know, not for right now. But that was a great game by Tax Evasion. You talked about throwing uh, hands the whole game, you know, really putting it together for the team. Had to. Eero did not really get to play. Eero got, you know, was doing what Eero could at times, but that was an all tax evasion game once it got into the second stocks. Yeah, that was that was huge. That was really huge for the blue team. Brought them back into this one. There was a possibility of them staring down the barrel of an 0-2 against Jerry K and Thought Out. Now all of a sudden we're looking at a 1v1 as we head into this game three tied set. But oh man, the red team is doing work. Onto blue this game. Tax going in with a big ground pound. That might have spelled disaster for oh. him. Even if he connected with the ground pound, he's hitting someone who's yellow. So unless he's caught like at the very end of all of his movement options, it's not really going to lead to a KO. Put him in a bad spot. The blue team gets completely wiped. Red team with a massive lead. All KOs coming out from Thought Out. Thought Out went over there on the left side and was, uh, I can't remember who Thought Out was fighting. I think it was Tax Evasion. But uh, the Sayer coverage over on that left side of the stage was ridiculous. Landed, I think, four uh, Sayers out there on the side and would not allow Tax Evasion to touch the wall and get comfortable. Got the KO, came over and landed the ground pound on Eero. And this is just a beautiful lead for the red team. Now, keep in mind, Jerry K is possibly getting some revenge here against the third place team from Summer Championships. Jerry K was teaming with Reaper at that time, who he's now with Thought Out, so a different teammate, but they ended up losing the Tax Evasion and Eero to come in fourth place, one behind. So this is revenge for Jerry K off of Summer Championships. Well, you know what? Somebody's not feeling that revenge because Tax Evasion just hit a smooth taunt after getting those KOs and being down on the round. 
Yeah, he ended up taunting at the end of last game too. Like he like he did something nice and like yeah, he got the victory, but it was also kind of close. Maybe yeah. maybe not the best moment to hit the taunt in, but we'll see if that taunt builds his confidence cuz he's going to need it. We're about 2 minutes into this game and Thought and Jerry K are very healthy on second stocks. Eero and Tax Evasion, not quite the same story and they're on their final. Yeah, not healthy on the last stock. It's tough. Oh, my gosh. Thought oh. getting up out, getting up out of there. Reaching up, sending him down. Yo! Reaching up, sending him down. Done. Do not taunt him. Please, for the love of, of Rahala, do not taunt him because he's going to force you onto 202 damage and 298 damage. That's tough. Thought out with the six, thought out with the six piece right there. And I Grabbed ain't talking six? chicken. He yep. grabbed all six. all six. He grabbed the Kaniac. He got the extra cane sauce. He got the sweet tea. He said no coleslaw because it's nasty. Talk to him. Man. Hole. And he did the most damage in the entire game. He did more damage than the blue team combined. 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 The executioner. Look Here at his weapon toss. Blacow. Coming on down there. Blacop. Blacow. You're out of there. Look at how early. He did the dodge that he could gravity cancel. That was at like the final frames of the D light as well. So he queued it up early, wasn't even worried about picking up the weapon again. He knew he had him done. He knew it was over for the blue team and that the W for the red team was coming. Welcome to the domination, domination station where the red team's first stocks leak into half the game. Yep. Goodness gracious. That was a tough one. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta dig deep in your bag right now to figure out what you can do. What can you pull out to not allow them to not? First off, don't get dominated again, and second off, win the game and take this to two two. So they're hoping that two things will lead to a different outcome this game. One of them is we're on Spirit Realm. Yeah, haven't played that stage so far. We haven't seen any Spirit Realm, I believe, whatsoever for Southeast Asia. Period. The for second sure. thing is the swap for Tax Evasion onto the Bren pick. Going off of the Hattori onto the Bryn. You know, Bryn's always a good look. Absolutely. Bryn's always, Bryn's one of those. You know what? Why does Bryn not get the same hate as Taros? Uh, Because she's not a Gorillion strength and she doesn't have hammer. <laughs> and she's not just like a pub stomp champion. Yo, like, but Bryn, like, Bryn is that character that it doesn't matter what region you're in. It's like, yo, I'm losing. I'm picking Bryn. Like, come on. She's a good choice, but so far, well, okay, I take that back. They're trading one for one, and Eero and Thought Art are both pretty even, but, oh, man, yes. you, you want to take him on the edge when he has gauntlets in his hands? Did you see the last few games? Do not do it. Don't get do away it. from that as quickly as you can. Sometimes you're trying to get away from it, like you're trying to make healthy choices, and then all of a sudden he's just there, and he reaches up, grabs you with those gauntlets, hits the neutral air, sends you down. So even yep. though you're trying to do the right thing, he, he just won't let you. Not going to allow it. Not going to allow any of it, and I don't think that Thought can be denied right now. Thought is terrorizing the blue team. Finally gets the first stock taken, but the damage being laid out, I'm excited to see what it looks like if this gameplay keeps up. He's able to spawn back in and also grab a weapon very quickly. Going to get juggled a little bit. Tax evasion. Doing some work here, going back and forth between red team members. That spear, that specific man, that spear and air. You've been calling out spear and air so far today. All of the spear players so far have been using him. Jerry K has been it's using him. Now, Tax Evasion's using him a lot. There is a weapon spawn. Tax Evasion's going to cover it with a neutral signature, and then he's going to be taken out, and that is a full team wipe yet again. Just too good. It was a lot of control from the blue team for, for a small bit there, about what, about 20 seconds of control out of them. And then once it comes time to wipe out the stocks, their execution from the red team is just too good. Nice. Okay, split them up a little bit. That forced Thought over onto the left side. That let them put some pressure onto Jerry K. They then took Jerry K out. In comes Thought off of the wall. Take him out. All of a sudden, our game is so much more even than we would have expected after the ending of last game. Well, we talked about the, the uh, brand, but we didn't talk about the Val. And I think Eero is playing better than uh, I've seen Eero play this whole set. Like, this, this is the game. This is Eero's oh, game. It was no. until the dare from Thought the executioner, takes out the stock. That dare was so big. Tax evasion now in the 1v2. <gasps> oh. Does get the interruption, got the clash, or they're not really the clash, interrupted the recovery. That's why you saw those stars come out and heard that noise on the interruption of that recovery. But a side sig from Jerry K is going to end that one. 
3-1 in favor of Jerry K and Thought On. My goodness. This is a this is a dangerous team. Absolutely. Jerry K and Thought On is a dangerous team. Jerry K is where Jerry K needs to be at all times and is doing good damage, just dancing around, controlling, and do, doing whatever needs to be done. And holding his own while Thought Out's just taking people out on the side and being like, hey, you want to deal with these gauntlets? Come here. Because I'm, I'm throwing fisticuffs. <laughs> and and you, can, you can gladly have some. So the big thing that I'm looking at, Zip, Talk to me. is I'm seeing this, unless you have anything that you want to say about this graph before it goes away. Is there uh, anything you want to say about this screen? Um, dude, uh, look at those long stocks. That's what I was going to say. I, I was Holy just saying we're looking cow, at the domination man. station once again. That's, it's, it's leaking into half the game. Oh, never mind. Those were last game. <laughs> that's last game I was about to say. I was going to.